For today's video, we are going to be shooting the 64 grain bonded solid base 22 caliber bullet out of a 223 Remington. First shots will be reduced load, it's simulating longer range, and then I'll flip my box and shoot a full load. We have captured it in that jug. After it looks like a straight line penetrated, possibly tumbled there, and exited the jail. We're gonna pour this out and find that bullet. And sure enough, that's exactly what it did. Just penetrated a ways and then tumbled. That one was going 1277. That one definitely opened up a little bit. Let me go find my tape measure quick. That one was traveling at 1,947 other side of the block here where we can see it a little bit better and we have it starting to open up at about five eighths of an inch carrying its decent permanent wound cavity from the one inch mark to just past the nine inch mark carrying some permanent wound cavity just past the 12 inch mark then it pin lines and the leading edge of that bullet is 18 and seven eighths inches and pull that out of there. And as you can see, it definitely didn't open up much. I would say that uh, just over 1900 feet per second is a bare minimum velocity for that. Probably be wise to keep these at 2,000 feet per second or faster on impact if you were going to use them for hunting for any reason. I know one guy I communicated with said he absolutely loves these out of his 22250 for deer hunting, even though they were designed for a self defense bullet. larger portion of that permanent wound cavity is about an inch and a quarter by inch and seven eighths. And I can see in the jail better from this side so I'm going to go ahead and leave my camera over here.
So pretty good, starting to open up almost instantaneously, carrying that better part of that permanent wound cavity from the eighth inch mark to just past the eight inch mark, carrying some permanent wound cavity just past the 12 inch mark. Leading edge of that bullet is 19 and a quarter. right at 19 once I push the blocks back together good and that larger portion of that permanent wound cavity is four inches by three and a half not bad performance for a little old bullet I will put uh, retained weights in the description. Again, would probably be a okay bullet for management harvesting of whitetail does. Probably work okay for antelope. Shoot them out of something like a 22-250. It'd probably work a little better. But honestly, not a not an overall bad performing bullet. Would be adequate for hunting certain game that one was traveling at 2,854 feet per second hope you guys enjoy the video